about, you know, we got that tiny little glimpse in Letters of Transition, and you have played different versions of Astrid, and now we have this just come out of Amber version. So have you put any thought into how you want to portray her, and she will feel very much like the Astrid that we come to know, or do you want to play slight different shades of her? Well, she she is the same Astrid that we know, because she's just essentially been frozen in time for 20 years, so I don't anticipate there being anything uh, different about her fundamentally, but she's definitely in a new, completely new environment, and I don't, I'm hoping that the writers will touch upon this, but they, when they were frozen in Amber, I mean, it was kind of a last minute resort, so I don't know, like, where her dad is, or the people that were in her life, she never got a chance to say goodbye to them, and, and then also this world is so completely different, I mean, it's almost like an alternate universe, you know, flashing forward to the future might as well be that, and so I would imagine that the circumstances are going to change her in some kind of ways, but I've only read the first episode, so I don't know how how deep they're going to let, you know, let this go, and of course I can have all these ideas in my head, but unless she's got some scenes or some lines, you know, demonstrating this emotional experience she's going through, hopefully it'll be in the way she walks, I don't know. <laughs> Her stance. What kind of, of questions do you get from fans? And do you have a feeling sometimes that they know more about the mythology of the show and even your character than you? Well, I don't think that anybody. I mean, I definitely think that um, that the fans have a lot of time to come up with their own theories. But that's kind of cool about the show is that there is no one answer to it until we find out more about the observers because that's like a huge question mark for us. But other than that, it's kind of just, you know, different theories. One of the theories for a long time was that Astrid was like a mole or that she was a shapeshifter because she was so secondary but so involved in everything at the same time that she would have been the perfect, you know, bad guy in the show. And that totally didn't end up happening unless it happens in the future, which I doubt. Um, and so... It's so funny because now that this is our very last season, we used to get lots of different, you know, lots of different questions in the beginning seasons, and now it's like, is there going to be a fringe movie? That's a huge question that people ask us, and I'm like, let's finish this out first and see how these 13 episodes go. You know, you gotta, you gotta give us time to, to tell the story. Um, I doubt that there will be a fringe movie, but. Um, I'm really thankful to get a chance to tell the story and not drag it out for so long. And I was talking to somebody last night, and they said, Who, whoever says, God, my favorite season is season seven. Nobody says that about a television show. And uh, I think it was Eric who we were talking to last night, and we were, we were saying, you know, five or six seasons is really ample time to, to flush out a story from beginning to end and not bore people and not, you know, have it too much like a soap opera where crazy things are happening and people are coming back to life, you know, every single episode. So, um, I think I totally veered off of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've had um, so many different versions of your character and you've played so many different things, but is there anything coming up in the season you really want to see Astro do that you haven't gotten to do yet? Gosh. Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, she got to do so many things that I, uh, sorry, that I didn't anticipate, like sing and take care of people on LSD, like, it was just such a shocking show to be a part of, and there were so many surprises in it, and so I feel, at this point, I actually do feel pretty satisfied, because I wanted her, I wanted you to meet somebody in her family, that happens, I wanted you to see her kick ass, and have a gun, and then that happened at, in the last season, you know, she got shot in one, it was so cool, and so now I feel like, I'm pretty good, I can coast through the rest of this, and if they throw more stuff at me, that's awesome, but I feel like I, I checked off all the big things on my list. Were you a nervous when you read this? Well, <laughs> um, John, my sweet dear friend John Noble, he came up to me and said, I want you to know that you get shot, but I want you to know that I asked the writers and make sure you didn't die and you don't. So he prefaced me, because he, get, he gets the scripts before um, I do, because he's John Noble. <laughs> and so he, I thought that that was so sweet, because I know 
think you would have been just as crushed as I was if if Astrid had, you know, died in that episode. So he made sure to do his homework, and then he let me know. He's like, you get shot, but you stay alive. And I was like, that's fine. I can get shot. No big deal. And I get shot saving his life, so he better make sure I don't die. I mean, jeez. Bruce had such a great, uh, great sort of roster of guest stars coming out of a lot of different actors on the show. Um, and while you know, can't say anything about who's going to show up, is there anybody that you'd really like to work with in this last season up to the outside for Oh, gosh. Well, um, I think it would be really cool if... Um, see, this is never going to happen, though. I love Andre Royo, who played Henry in the alternate universe. And we were hoping so hard that there was going to be some way that he would be in, like, I don't know who's going to join the French team. I just think he's such a talented actor, and he is so, he's so lovely on camera. Like, he's so watchable, and, and he's such a great person, and he brings such an awesome energy to our set. So I wish there was some way that we could bring him back. I don't know how that's going to happen. But Henrietta, like, his legacy is a part of the show. You know, uh, their daughter was named after him, so... They have to find a way to sneak him in somehow. I feel like that would be the perfect, the perfect ending. And also, um, oh my God, why is his name escaping me right now? Kevin. Um, he, he plays the guy in the bowling alley who, like, um, I can't remember his name. This is terrible. Anyway, I really love him, and he's so much fun. He's so bizarre and like weird and cool. And that would be really cool if he was a part of, of season five too. These are all like other guest stars that have already been on the show. I just want other people that have been on it to keep going back.